In this video, we'll add rational expressions, aka fractions, with unlike denominators. So in this first, well, overall, we have to find the LCD, right? So in this first example, our two denominators are 9 and 7. The LCD is going to be their least common factor. Um, and so their least common factor is going to be 63. That is the smallest number that both of them fit into. So our LCD, our least common denominator, which is the least common factor of the denominators, is going to be 63. In this case, it does happen to be their product. Um, it won't always be their product. Sometimes it might be smaller. So here's what we need to do. We need to get both denominators to be 63. The way that we get 9 to become 63 is we multiply by 7. So we're going to do that to this uh, both denominator and numerator. So our first fraction will end up being 56 over 63. And then our second one, we have to multiply 7 by 9. So we'll multiply top and bottom by 9, so we'll have 9y over 63. Then when you have common denominators, which we do now, we can just add them together. So it's one fraction with a denominator of 63 since they're common. And we'll have 56 plus 9y. Now we want to see if we can factor the numerator at all, meaning is there a GCF between 56 and 9, and there's not. So this is actually our final answer right here. In this next example, we have, again, unlike denominators, but it's a little more complex. Um, we see that our two denominators are 7x and 3x, so we want to find the LCD. So we first want to think, what is the least common factor between 7 and 3? In that case, again, it's their product, 21. And then the least common factor between x and x is not its product. It's not x squared. It's actually just x because they have x in common. And so we need to make both denominators 21x. So the way that we make this first one 21x is we multiply by 3. And so we have to multiply this numerator by 3 as well. So I'm going to put that in parentheses. I don't technically need this dot here. We're going to distribute the 3 through. Then in the second fraction, how do we get 3x to be 21x? We multiply it by 7. So what we do to the bottom, we must also do to the top. And again, I'm putting parentheses around them because they're binomials, right? They're more than one term. So if we distribute and get our new fraction, it'll end up being 15x plus 3 over 21x. And then this next fraction will end up being 21x minus 14, again, over 21x. And since we're adding, we don't need to worry about any like distribution of a negative sign. If this was subtraction, we would have to distribute the minus sign through. But we're adding, and now our fractions have a common denominator. So we can write it as one single fraction and add them all together. In this step, I'm actually just going to combine the like terms. We're adding 15 and 21, and so that will give us 36x. And then we're also adding a 3 and a minus 14, and that'll give us minus 11. And so we want to see, is there any um, GCF in the numerator? Do 36 and 11 have any common factors other than 1? And they actually don't, so we are done right here. This next example seems like it doesn't belong because this is called adding, but subtracting is really just adding a negative. So this is really just combining rational expressions where we can do subtraction as well. All right, let's take a look at our denominators. We have 5x and x minus 1. These are both factors. You could think of this as having parentheses around it. And so our LCD needs to be each factor written one time since they're not, um, they don't have any like like parts, right? No factor is repeating. So 5x and x minus 1 is our LCD. All right, how do we get this first fraction to look like it? Look like this? Well, it already has the 5x part, so we need to multiply by x minus 1. And what we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator. How do we get the second fraction, or sorry, the second denominator to look like the LCD? It already has the x minus 1, so we need to include the 5x. So we need to multiply by 5x, top and bottom. Here, we're going to distribute the 6 through. So we'll have 6x minus 6 in our numerator. And our denominator will look like, I'm going to just write the 5x first so they look the same. Our second fraction will end up being 25x 
all over 5x times x minus 1. And we're subtracting, and we have a common denominator, so we can write it as one single fraction, subtracting. Now, if this had more than one term, we'd have to make sure we distributed the minus sign through. But in this case, it only has one term, so it's 6x minus 25x. So that's going to give us negative 19x. And then we also have that minus 6 up there. There's nothing that we can really factor out, although in the numerator you can technically factor out the negative 1 just because it looks nicer. So since we have all negative terms in the numerator, you can write it in a neater way and factor out the negative 1 like this. And then that ends up just looking like a negative out in front of our entire fraction. So this is an alternate and nicer way to write our final answer, although I'm sure Alex will also accept this as a final answer as well. Here's our last example. Again, we have unlike denominators, and in this case, our denominators can be factored. So let's factor the denominators in this first line. The GCF here is 2 in this denominator, so we're left with 2x plus 1. And then the GCF down here is 3, and again, we're left with 2x plus 1. So we can see that we have four total factors in our denominators, but three distinct factors, 2, 3, and 2x plus 1. So part of our LCD definitely needs to include the 2x plus 1, but we also need to have the LCD between a 2 and a 3. We're not going to write 2 and 3 here because that'll look like the number 23. We need to just think about what is the least common factor between 2 and 3, and it's 6. So there'll be a 6 out in front. So that's why our LCD is 6 times the quantity 2x plus 1. All right, so how do we make this denominator look like this? We need to multiply it by 3. And so again, we'll do that up here. How do we make this denominator look like this? We multiply it by 2. And then we'll have 3x over our LCD. And again, we'll have, over here, we'll have a 6x over our LCD. And then we're adding two fractions with a common denominator. So we'll add 3x plus 6x to get a 9x. And then we actually can cancel. Because everything's fully factored, this 9 and 6 can actually both be divided by 3. So this will become a 3x, and this will become a 2 out in front. So our final answer is 3x over 2 times the quantity 2x plus 1. Note that we can't cancel this x and this x because this is part of a factor. It's part of something that's being added or subtracted. And there we have it, four examples of adding or subtracting fractions with unlike denominators.